Uh, part two of our wood burning video. Today we're going to work on Addy. I'm going to show you how to do some of the technique that we have in uh, the dog itself from the nose to the mouth, eyes, fur. I like to go through some of the things that we have on our table here. To start with, my picture that I initially received over the phone. This is going to be the, the pattern we're still working on. I've got about 27 hours in this. I have the printouts of what I made for the process and I'll go over that here shortly. I've got a magnifying glass. You could get this at Harbor Freight, reasonably cheap. There's multiple different views of the glass. You can see how well it can enlarge things for you. I can get in the light where you can see. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see some of the detail in there. If you really want to get some extreme detail and can't really see what's happening in there, these are great for that. <laughs> I've got uh, a regular pencil. I've got a mechanical pencil. I've got an X-Acto knife with the number 11 blade. This broke off the tip, but that doesn't matter. I've got a piece of sandpaper. This is round, sticky. It's 180 grit. If you use sandpaper, you can use 180, 220, 320, 600. It's your choice, but we're going to be using this to erase if we need to. The smaller that number is, 180, is rougher than 220 so the smaller number is more harsh than the, the, the larger numbers. Keep that in mind when you're getting near some paper and you get it anywhere you don't have to get the round sheets you can get it the square and tear or cut off what you need you don't really need a lot. I usually take it fold it in half pinch it together then when I go to use it I'll use just a little bit of a corner and put it down and rub it to, to do my erasing and if this doesn't get done what I need maybe I've gone a little bit deep say something down in this area here I need to remove that's where I pull out an exacto knife and I get in there and just lightly scrape it to where I get the tone that I want if you really need to totally erase it you may have to do a little bit of both but if it gets too deep you may have just had something you're just gonna have to deal with but we may or may not be using that I'm gonna hope not okay so let's get started with the project. Of course, I've got my wood burning tool I've already explained to you before. And I got a piece of wood here I'm going to show you some um, technique on when we get to doing some lettering. Uh, up here is a piece of, um, yeah, what you wash the, your dishes with, the foam. Uh, not foam, not, um, okay, help me out here. It's, um, I call it foam. Sponge. Sp sponge, sponge foam, yes. Uh, it comes in a pack of two at the dollar store and just tear off a little piece lightly moisten it when your tip gets dirty you could take it and you can clean it okay and I put it in a little container to contain the water area of it okay and then this is my little tool to to pull off my little nib if I need to okay these are the two tools that I'm going to use today to show you what's going on okay this one is more for shading and this one I use a little bit to get into my um, uh, light strokes it gives a softer fur technique and then I'll use the edge of this one to give the more stronger uh, thinner darker deeper lines okay to start with what I did was receive my foam picture my foam picture is dark I transferred that onto the computer when I transferred it onto the computer it got ever so slightly darker so what I did was transfer it into a edit program from just pictures. Most people have that on their computer. So once I pulled up on pictures, I used the contrast, uh, brightness, shadowing, and I changed that enough. I kept watching it change till I was able to pull out the different color tones. You can now pull out some of the different color tones that you didn't see down here. And look how dark that eye and that circle is on the nose. The eye and that circle of the nose is still pretty dark so what I did was go through and did the process again and I ended up printing out my pictures this is the first picture I printed out which is the same as this picture here okay. and then my other picture the nose, the mouth and that right, uh, yeah, right eye I enlarged those it's kinda hard to see maybe on this camera but I can actually see here is a detail that I did not see in this picture it doesn't show up very well. There's a lighter color which will be part of the brown eye. It comes down and I can actually see the lid 
of the eye with a little bit of um, reflecting. Anytime that you have black, you sometimes have a blue in it, so you want to lighten those areas up if you see them. Okay, if you ever put your picture down and you lose track of where it's at, I always cut a tab somewhere, and that's what I've done to this, so I'm going to show you how we do this. I decide where I'm going to put my picture, and to do that, I just this is an 8.5 by 11. I just fold the end over so you can see what's going on. I find a place to put it. I need to realign my picture. So what I did, I found this side of the ear and this side of the ear. And I'm trying to line those up a little bit, see where it goes to line up. Now I pull this side of the line and I've got another line dra drawn over here. I need to pull it this way. Okay, I got that. Looks like it's lined up. I need to pull this over. Yep, pull it up. Going up. And there is where I should be. When I pull this line up, I should see straight from the ear, straight down. And if I kind of fold it and I visually look going that way, I will see it is totally aligned. Now, once I decide where I want my picture, I'm going to take a piece of Sorel paper, carbon paper, or some form of transferring paper. There's a dark side and a light side. The dark side has the carbon that will transfer. You want that facing down. So I would take that and I would face it down. Now I use a mechanical pencil. As you can see, the lead is not sticking out and it's kind of worn a little bit because what I do with them is I'll take it and I'll find a shadow of a collar and follow that, trace it out. Okay, and you can start seeing some of that, what I've done here. I've darkened this area here. If it's really dark, you could go up, press a little harder to make the darkness show a little bit easier. That way you could find it a little faster. If you have something where it's going to be light and you need to do a little burning in there, you do not want a lot of graphite because this graphite may pull into your coloring and darken it more than what you need. It may be a little difficult to get that sanded out. So I went ahead and did this with just this edge and you might be able to see by the color change, some of it over here is easier to see.